I got a van. see it's already been a little converted there's already a bed in the back so I don't need to build a bed I'm on my way to my storage unit right now to grab a few things I've set aside like some extra storage and uh, you know, a few other things there's an extra seat behind me that I'll be taking out I need that it's got a little over 200,000 miles on it I got a good deal on it it does need a little help but deal on it so I can afford to give it the help it needs. I've already put a battery in it. It needs tires. I've got to replace the ignition switch. There's some loose contacts in here. Not everything works all the time. The important things like the engine do. Other important things like the charge systems don't. Got a teeny bit of rust. I can patch that. The blower only works on its highest speed. But all of this is pretty simple stuff that's within my ability to repair, so uh, I'm going to do it. And then, I'm looking forward to some modifications. Basically, there's three main things I want to do with this van. I want to be able to go camping with it. I want to be able to bring my motorcycle along. This van does not currently have a trailer hitch. That's going to change. And not only will I be able to tow a trailer at that point, I'm also going to get a motorcycle ramp and holder that will slide into the receiver. So I won't need to tow a trailer. I can just slide the KLR right on the back, take it with me. So at that point, I can go somewhere kind of remote for a few days, use the van as my home base, but also go out exploring and doing some riding on the bike. I want to be able to essentially work on the road. Now, I'm not planning to quit my job and go full-time van life or anything, at this point at least. But I want to be able to use my laptop. If I'm shooting videos, I want to be able to do that too. So I'm going to need some electricity, as well as kind of a workstation where I can put my laptop down, work and stuff. So I'll need some electricity. I'll probably do a little solar lawn at it, you know, that whole thing. And then this is also going to be my stage rally radio command center. I volunteer at a lot of the uh, performance rallies, you know, cars flying through the woods and stuff uh, all over the northeast. I want to do that in this. I'll have a place to sleep. So I wanted to drop a ton of money on an expensive hotel room. And I want to have all my radio gear set up and ready to go in here. At least be able to set it up on the site, you know, with an antenna mast and you know, more than just the mobile antenna I'll use when I'm on the road. All of this is very, very doable. Just a matter of putting in the time and making it happen. So I'm almost my storage unit. When we get there, I'll grab a couple things and uh, give you a quick tour of the van. I've already taken out the uh, the extra seat there. I'm not going to be using that. Save those plastic drawers. I got a few more I can throw in. And uh, yeah. Put my cooler in the back and uh, some other stuff. Cool. 
Well, it's a new day. I've made a bit more progress in here. I have vastly increased the amount of light available here in the back of the van. Done that with a few of these. Just four pack of little LED lights with their own switches on them. They're not off, so I'm not blinding the camera. Got the ones on that wall on. Got another one here. Two more on the wall behind the camera. Vastly increases the amount of light. 10 bucks at Ocean State job lot for the four of them. So super duper easy and simple lighting solution that uh, I will probably replace someday once I have an actual house battery system in here. But um, great for now. As you can see, I've changed the back of the van around a little bit too. I've removed the bed from across the side windows the way it used to be because it's six feet tall. I'm too tall to fit comfortably across the back of the van. It's how a lot of people have their vans set up. It's a great idea. It leaves a lot of extra space. I don't fit, so that's not gonna work for me. So what I've done instead, is kind of mocked up temporarily what I think I'm gonna want my layout to be. Instead of across the back of the van, I'm gonna have actually a fairly narrow bed running down the side of the van, the driver's side, because there's no door there. And I wanna have some kind of a table, workstation, something on the passenger side of the van so that I can sit on the bed slash sofa and just kind of type on my computer over here, kind of a workstation, something I could have my radio stuff on, something I could even prepare food on if I had to. You know, not all at the same time, of course, but you know, just just a workspace that I can, well, you know, work with. I've also been at work on some of the repairs the van needs: new front brake pads because the old ones started grinding, new tires all around. I, uh, <laughs> I bought the uh, highway terrain tires and they installed all terrain tires, which are actually a little more expensive, but not for what I paid, so uh, nobody tell me, okay? I replaced the blower resistor pack, so now my front fan, my front blower, has all four speeds that it's supposed to have, so I have much better heat and climate control in the front of the van. The back one has worked just fine, so no problem there. So what remains is the parking brake does nothing. I've diagnosed that as a loose cable that I'm gonna try to tighten up. Uh, I may need to replace all or some of it. We'll see, but that's a pretty simple fix. There's a rust hole underneath the front passenger door, so I need to patch that up. I'll just uh, leave a patch panel on once I get all the rust out of there. And I have to do a little more diagnosis into the brake warning light that's on on the dashboard. Uh, the ABS light is also on, but you're not required to have the anti-lock brakes functional to pass the inspection. The red brake light warning, however, is an automatic fail. I can't even try to take it in for a sticker until that's fixed. This is where living in a state that has car inspections is not an advantage. But anyway, that's what I'm up to lately. I've still got a lot of my tools. I'm in the van. I'm kind of using it as a garage right now because why haul all the tools back inside when I'm still using them in the van that I'm actually working on? What I'm hoping is that once I'm done making all these repairs and actually get it through state inspection, then yay, I'll have a street legal van. That is when I can start working on some of the interior modifications and actually doing up the proper no-build van build, which is the entire purpose of this in the first place. So stay tuned and uh, we'll take it from here. It'll be a fun journey no matter where it ends up going.